Good morning and welcome to the Chart of the Week video with me, David Madden. Today's date is Thursday the 5th of March 2020 and the time has just gone 10.07 GMT. And this week's Chart of the Week is the US dollar versus the Japanese yen, the dollar yen. Um, it's had quite, a, quite an interesting move in the last few weeks. So the big picture has been that dollar yen was enjoying a nice push to the upside between August and the middle of February. And then when the coronavirus crisis really took hold in Europe, the fear was this is going to be a global, uh, a global crisis, a pandemic. Uh, and then we saw a sharp move to the, low, to the downside in dollar yen uh, for two reasons. Uh, there was belief very quickly that the Federal Reserve were going to have to, were, were going to lower interest rates, which they did unexpectedly this week. But on top of that, the other side of the coin is that the Japanese yen is often deemed as a safe haven currency. So which means that if there's ever uncertainty in the financial markets, particularly stocks and shares, um, there people tend to pour money into assets that are deemed lower risk, such as the, the Japanese yen. So the dollar yen really sold off aggressively very, very quickly. We can see here uh, that yesterday we fell to a level, you know, we were hitting kind of multi-month lows yesterday. Yesterday we fell to a level last seen in, in early October. There's a steady move to the downside. There's a steady increase in negative momentum. So the, 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 the downward move has been confirmed by a steady increase in negative momentum. It seems to me that, that the bears are in control for the time being. If you do press on lower from here, we could be looking at targeting this zone here down around 106.48. And if you go below that, we could be looking at target potentially the 106 area. And if you go below that, uh, we could be looking at heading down towards this zone here, um, down around 104, it's about 63, there, thereabouts. So these are potential areas um, of support should this kind of the, the recent bearish trend continue. On the flip side, uh, if we do see a bit of a bounce back, we could encounter resistance in around this area here, this line. Um, it comes into play at this particular line in at 108 spot three and uh, we can see here that that area was the kind of the lows of, of late january on top of that that line also broadly speaking kind of isn't too far away from the 200 day moving average which is often seen as a decent kind of bench you know be benchmark or gauge if the market's below the 200 day, day moving average it seems to be weak if it's above it it's deemed to be strong so the fact that um, those two important metrics overlap could make this zone a fairly significant area. Uh, if we do get back above that, this area here, we could we, that could put us on path further up to further gains. And resistance might come into play at this blue line here, the 50-day moving average. We can see that acted as both you know resistance, support, and resistance uh, on a few occasions uh, in the last few weeks. So if a metric has been important in the past, it makes it more likely it'll be important in the future, although there are no guarantees. And that level comes into play, the 50 day moving average in at 109 spot 43. Now, if you are going to be trading in the dollar yen or any of the dollar crosses, it's worth your while keeping an eye on what's going on on the, uh, the, the, all the, the yen crosses across, across the board. Um, so if you take a look here, put, 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 put together a, a, a quick uh, watch list, uh, dollar yen, uh, apologies, sterling yen, euro yen, CAD yen, Aussie yen, you know, they're all lower. So it's quite clear that the Japanese yen uh, is quite strong. If you take a quick look at sterling yen, we can see that the move on sterling yen has been not too dissimilar to the moves you've seen on dollar yen, whereby we've had an aggressive sell off. Uh, we're, we're back above its 200 day moving average, but if we do manage to break lower here and we take off the recent lows, uh, there could be a sign that we're in for further losses on sterling yen, which, which could put, uh, which could see the, the uh, st sterling yen increase its losses. And um, on this one, I'm talking about the sterling yen chart and, and yen crosses in general, it's because one of the tenets of Dow theory is that the averages must confirm each other. So, which, what that essentially means is that. Uh, if markets that are fairly that are, that are similar or are fairly correlated, if they're all moving in the same direction at the same time, you can be more confident that that move is going to continue. So if you're seeing uh, sterling yen under pressure, um, you can be more confident that that move is going to continue. If you're seeing euro yen, CAD yen, Aussie yen, sterling uh, and sterling yen all moving lower too. Now, before we go, uh, if you are going to be trading dollar yen. Uh, it is worth noting today um, at 13.30, we have the US jobless claims uh, at 1,500. 
uh, GMT, we have the US factory orders, and tomorrow we have the all important US non farm payrolls report. Uh, which reminds me, we're actually ho hosting a live webinar event tomorrow uh, at 1315 GMT. The figures will be released at 1330 GMT, so we are likely to see uh, a lot of volatility uh, in the financial markets and particularly uh, the dollar yen currency, currency for us. Uh, thank you for listening. Have a good trading week and good luck.